it's Anita and Dario with Passionist Cooking. That's right. And today we're doing a mango cha cha. Mango cha cha cha. Mango cha cha cha. It's going with the Thai dish. And the Thai is the Thai peanut, chicken, coconut, and lime. And quinoa dish that we're doing. That's right. And this is what we're pairing with it. So we're going to be using our Vitamixer, which we enjoy very much. We've got frozen mango that we're using, and I like to use frozen mango because it really isn't in season or around here at all. And well, so I not. like, I find it's fresher because they actually freeze it immediately and it's not on the truck coming on out, so that's important. We've got some vanilla protein because I want to make sure there's some extra protein in there. We've got some ginger. We've got some bananas. I froze the bananas. I, I love frozen bananas. I love to get the bananas and freeze them into di uh, dollar-sized little pieces. Some little cubes, yeah. Yeah, and you cut them, you put them in the freezer, leave them like that, and then put them in a Ziploc bag. They're great for smoothies. They're great for any other items that you want to do. Banana muffin. bread. Muffin. Yes, muffins. You love your muffins. I love muffins. So with this recipe, we're going to use coconut water. Again, if you're using any other water, it's really good to research it. Uh, we found this great water from the Dolomites um, that we all ended up getting our hands on in Italy. Phenomenal water. We've got some great water here, right. some of the springs also. Uh, but make sure you research your water and where you're getting it from. And we're doing coconut water for today. We've got the ginger, mango, mango cha cha, the beets, the bananas that aren't really frozen anymore. But but they're still cold and nice, and I mean they're gonna be pureed anyway, right? It's all gonna make a wonderful concoction. So here we go. I like the colors. Wow. So again, why we're juicing and why we're pairing it with our meals. One is it, it, it adds a refreshing flavor to whatever the creation is. For this one, we're making our, our Thai coconut curry. I mean, curry, coconut chicken. Thai coconut chicken. So the flavor in combination with that is good. And also it's the nutrition, right? We want to be able to add as much nutrition as we can to our meals. Look how nice and pure it is. Wow. I think this is perfect because, you know, you want a little milkiness on it. You don't want, you know, when you, when you do a juice, you don't want it to be watery. You don't want it to be completely uh, losing all the protein, lo losing all the vitamin. You want beautiful milking consistency. Oh, Try it up. Thank you. Tell me what you think. Holy cow. Did you good? I would have never expected this, actually. Hmm. I, I'll, I'll tell you what it is here. Yeah. Because it's very important that you understand, people understand out there. This one has the milkiness from the coconut, has a sweetness, not necessarily from the banana. The banana are there, mm. but the sweetness are for the beets. And this perfect, perfect amount of spiciness of the ginger. And I'm telling you, this is brilliant because the combination of this, this specific juice with the Thai uh, peanut coconut uh, chicken, it's perfect. I think this is probably one of my favorites so far. But it's perfect. That, that we've created. Yeah, yeah it's, I think and it you know, people would put, I mean, a lot of people would put cayenne. Uh, the, the ginger, the problem is the ginger just gives just enough spice. And the protein, the protein is excellent. It's mm -hmm. really, really, really good. Well done. Well done. Good job. Anita and Dario signing off. Fashion is cooking. With an incredible power juice. Mango cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs>